had a place up at Lake Chautauk for how many years? Four oh, years? Four years. Five years, yeah. And we would spend a lot of summers up there. And that was a, our kids really missed that because we had a pontoon and they'd come up weekends and spend the weekends up there fishing and just going pontoon riding. We love Chautauk. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, he loved that fishing. But we, uh, we had a place up on um, one of the lakes when the kids were growing up. We'd be there all the time. We just, he bought an old hunting shack. We put it on the lake and that was on Prairie Lake. Yep. And then we got a boat and uh, yeah. You sold that eventually though? You got rid of that? Yeah, we got rid of that, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. But we were there for quite a few years. The kids grew up there, yeah. We'd go up there fishing all the time and yeah. And then we went camping a lot with the kids. That's all we could afford to do. You know, at that time you could probably rent a spot at the campground for a dollar and a half, you know, a night. And uh, we did our own cooking and we camped at Red Arrow Campgrounds out west and it was a lot of fun. We bought a tent the first time to see if we'd like it. And we liked it, so then we bought a tent and then after a few years, then we bought a, a pop-up tent camper, and then, yeah, and we got that place at Chautauk, and yeah, it was fun. It's really great for kids because, and at that time, we never once heard our kids say they were bored because as soon as they had breakfast, they'd be out around the campground meeting friends and playing, and they wouldn't come back until they were hungry again. Yeah, it was fun. Did you guys have snowmobiles too? Oh yes, well, we did a lot of snowmobiling. Oh, we did. <laughs> we did. And I think Anthony was like eight years old when he, we started and he still snowmobiles. He we loves went it. from here to Thunder Bay, Canada on snowmobiles. Wow. Him yeah. and Anthony and how many guys? There were six of us. Yeah. And Dean Coughlin drove a van with supplies for the snowmobiles and then they would kind of decide where they were going to spend the night and yeah. Hmm. Took them a week to the day to go up to Thunder Bay and back by snowmobile. Wow. I know. That's a big trip. Yeah, that was a good trip. Anthony was a senior or just got out of, yeah. Yeah, that was a great trip. But you couldn't get into Thunder Bay, could you? They wouldn't let you go into Thunder Bay. Yeah, we you were just on the, the outskirts. No, we talked to the customs, had our picture taken, then we come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was quite a trip. Hmm. Yeah. Did you guys hunt too? Did you oh yeah, deer hunting. Where, where do you? Where did you deer hunt? Well, up in. Hayward country at first, and then we hunted out around here. I got uh, my last year over in the golf course. Oh, really? A ten pointer, yeah. And then after that, that he quit. as big as all the deers I shot together. Huh. Yeah. So you yeah. hunted south of the golf course there? Yep, right. Those woods? Kind of behind Dick Galston's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was there 14 years at the golf course. That's right. Greenskeeper, yeah. yeah. I forgot about After that. After he retired from the beer route. Then. How, did, how, did, how did that happen? Did well, the groundskeeper, Super Terry, we had, he He was a good, good fellow, and, but he didn't, uh, everything was kind of. So when I come, they talked me into coming and working there, and then she worked on the inside. I grew up on that golf course. I love that place. Did you? Oh, you well, still we like right, to golf? We were right there, you know. Oh, and, sure. And yeah. so we, we would walk down and golf, and, you know, I, I just actually went golf ball hunting yesterday because that's like my best memories of being a kid, golf ball hunting out there. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they yeah. had a lot of kids yeah. golf. I love that. And I was, when I was, yesterday I just walked down there and 
Did you find any? <laughs> All sorts of them. It's like nobody looks for golf balls anymore. Not anymore. Yes. Nope. I don't understand that. If I was a kid, I'd be doing that I, oh. I no, they're, every day. They're in the house on their videos or something, you know? You know? So. Yeah, I, I love that golf course. Yep. And some of them would sell them. Yeah, I, we did. Yeah? yeah? Quarter a piece. We'd sit out there yep. up front. Did you? Yep. Yep. And go in the water even and looking for yep. golf balls. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of history there. Oh, gosh. I guess so. Yep, but he did a good job greenskeeping. I go to the chip uh, to get a load of beer, and then Jimmy and Wayne Curry would ride at me, and I'd drop them off at the golf course in Eau Claire, and then I'd pick them up on the way back, and they'd have their pockets full of golf balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, both Jim and Wayne are both gone. You remember Wayne Curry? Mm -hmm. He's a good friend of. Yeah, he and Jim were. Huh? Well, weren't they? My uncle Jim and they were good buddies. Yep, yep they oh, were. Yeah. Yep, they led a lot of trips together, and yeah, it was good. Yeah, Jim kind of left too soon too. He never oh. really took took good care of himself. I know, no, he didn't. I know. And then they just found him dead, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, we was up to. Clam Lake, I think it was. We met Jim. Yep. And it was our anniversary. And That's right. And we went to Garmish. I love that place. Oh. And he insisted that we go there. And we'd go over to Clam Lake sometimes, and he'd be reading the paper, having coffee at that one restaurant. And uh, then he decided he wanted to take us out for our anniversary. So we went to Garmish, met him there. And everything was on Jim. He wouldn't let us even buy a glass of wine. He yeah. just everything was on him. Yeah, that was a fun time. Yeah, right. but when, and then when he'd be up at the the cabin too, we'd go and see him. Yeah. <laughs>